you right between the eyes You're paralyzed Cause this is thriller Thriller night And pull up a pants and hustle. do the rock away. Now lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. Lean back. Come on. All right, dance battle time's over, guys. Welcome to tonight's live stream. I hope you've all had a fantastic Thursday. Um, I hope you've all been keeping busy and uh, and staying out of trouble. Uh, so tonight we're going to talk about cyber security. Um, I've had a few questions uh, regarding uh, a post earlier in the week and uh, one of the, uh, the people commented, uh, one of the audience members commented that they'd like to know a bit more about cyber security for their young son that's uh, staying home for the holidays. So uh, firstly, I guess the first thing I want to uh, um, start off with is uh, a digital footprint. So what is your digital footprint? Essentially, your digital footprint, unlike you know, footprints in the sand which wash away, is pretty much there forever. Um, so, that in mind, whatever you upload could very well come back uh, later, 20, 30 years, or uh, if it's something that's maybe not suitable, um, a future employer may find it. So, always have in your mind, what you're posting online isn't temporary, even if you delete it, it will still be on the servers and it will be there forever. Um, so, with the youth and younger, the younger generation, it's, um, it's understandable that you want to try and document and capture everything, but you also want to think, you know, I guess, if you're doing something, how will other people view it? Now, it does give you a rush when you see that other people are following you and like, liking your posts and whatnot, but uh, you always want to think about the content and, I guess, uh, if, if it's going to get you in trouble, as I mentioned later on. So, uh, that's just the first thing. Um, now, another thing you could always do, if you're uh, someone with a couple of hundred followers or, or likes, um, do a regular self-search and see if anything has ever popped up that may be uh, not safe for work and, or whatnot. And, uh, you know, if you post something, uh, uh, posted something a month ago and you, you know, you're uh, angry at something and now you've, you've calmed down, uh, do a search and see if any of those sorts of posts come up. Um, Always try and uh, keep your uh, your profiles, uh, I guess, in a positive manner as well as you get older, um, because one of the first things employers do look at it is social media. So if you've got a lot of negative posts or, uh, or uh, I guess, I mean, I, I hate to say hate speech or anything of that nature, or uh, you know, just things that really aren't suitable for all audiences, uh, you may want to reconsider, you know, changing that before you go for that next job. Um, so that's pretty much just it for the uh, younger audience and your digital footprint. Um, now this next section is sort of for more the, uh, uh, the older audience. And this is uh, for those that maybe aren't as tech savvy. And um, these are just a few little tips that you can follow to help keep you safe whenever you're using a computer or working online. Um, so the first thing is, of course, uh, let's say emails. Whenever you get an email, Check who the email is from. It's quite common now that scammers are able to uh, replicate the email addresses of, uh, of companies or business addresses. There's been uh, recent uh, ATO scams, that's Australian Taxation Office scams, where uh, uh, agencies have been asking for money or they'll send around uh, uh, police to arrest you. Um, so always check the address. I actually spotted one from PayPal not too long ago. Uh, it was an email that had the exact same address and they were asking me to reconfirm my details. Now I know that that wasn't needed because I'd just done so, uh, I'd just logged out and I knew everything was fine. So I reported the email, sent that to them and they closed that address down. So always check the, uh, the, the sender of the email address. Uh, next, always back up your data uh, and back it up regularly. I mentioned this earlier in the week, you would hate to lose all your memories and even then I don't know how much cloud space you may have and may not be able to hold all of them, but backing up regularly will save your files, the heartache of losing them. Uh, younger people do this because if you've got an assignment, they're not going to accept the excuse, oh, my hard drive crashed or whatever. They're all flash drives today. Um, if you didn't make a backup, they'll go, why didn't you have automatic backup? So always back it up uh, no matter what. Now, uh, probably once again for the uh, older generation, never use anyone else's computer um, 
to do your banking, email, or any social media. Now, a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, uh, well, it's bad practice, but secondly, all the data that you enter, uh, if the browser settings aren't correct, will be saved in that person's browser. And uh, while they may not use it, um, if their computer gets stolen or uh, they sell their computer and don't clean it properly, those details can then be passed on to the next person that purchases, it, purchases that device. So uh, never use anyone else's computer for internet banking, social media, or email. Um, of course, the next tip, that's pretty uh, simple, never tell anyone your password. Um, I guess it's probably not a common thing, but definitely don't make your password password one, two, three, four, anything simple like that. Um, update your password on a regular basis, so every 12 months, um, that's a good, uh, good I guess, uh, time period. Um, now, if you do have a computer with multiple users, uh, let's say you've got a family computer that everyone shares, set up multiple user accounts. Now, this sounds complicated. There's a couple of online tutorials you can do for each respective operating system. But by doing this, uh, you're ensuring, one, they don't impact your data and what you're doing. Um, you don't want to come home and find they've deleted everything. Uh, so you want to set up a guest account for the other users and, uh, and make sure they don't have full access to everything. And the same goes for your web browser. If you've got multiple users using a web browser, um, have it so that they can't uh, uh, use your social media. Set up a guest session for them. Um, now, if you're using a computer overseas or you're, uh, you're traveling interstate or if you're based in Australia and you're traveling overseas, uh, before you travel, um, I encourage you to look for a VPN to use, even if it's just for a month. Um, while it may not seem terribly uh, uh, important or you don't think what the information you have is important, it is because you don't want to find out while you're on your holiday or business trip that your accounts have been emptied and you get a call from the bank. Um, a VPN also, uh, uh, apart from encrypting your communications from potential uh, thieves, um, a lot of governments, well not a lot, but there are some governments in the world that have pretty strict uh, uh, control of their internet. And do not be surprised that if, while you're using the, your internet, they can see everything you're doing or they even block some services. And uh, so if you're in another country and you can't Skype or something like that by using a VPN, it's an inconvenience. Um, and uh, always log out after every session. Even if it is your own computer, log out of all your accounts. Never have it so that you can just turn on your computer and jump straight on and uh, get everything going. Log out whenever you're finished using it. It does take an extra 10, 15 minutes, but that little task there um, will, will save you a lot of hassle later on. Um, now, there are some other steps that I can maybe suggest to help, uh, help, or, or I guess privacy suggestions. Um, the first one is never log on to public Wi-Fi. While you may not want to use your data, um, whenever you log on to public Wi-Fi, uh, it essentially gets your MAC address, which is a, 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 the signature for each device, like a, a residential address for each device, and it's, it's unique for each device. Uh, and it gets information, basic information, what your device is named, what sort of device. So avoid connecting onto uh, public uh, Wi-Fi. Um, and if you do use public Wi-Fi, avoid using banking. Um, what else is there? Uh, now, I guess um, at home, always make sure that your operating system and your phone have always uh, the latest updates. They're not just to ensure you've got the latest features, but they'll also ensure that they uh, secure any previous vulnerabilities that people have discovered. Um, I guess that's pretty much uh, finishing up on... Um, on safety. Now, uh, I will say that I do have a couple of vlogs, uh, blogs on uh, cyber security, um, all sorts of, uh, uh, I guess, privacy related issues, and I'll leave a link in the description section, but I encourage you to check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me, drop me a uh, comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I should have uh, an earlier vlog scheduled tomorrow night, and we'll try and stick to that, guys. But uh, have a fantastic Friday. Thank you all again, and uh, peace out. Wow, 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 wow.